Hi, in this short video I'm gonna show you how to solder the 12 AWG silicon wire with the banana plug connector. So this way which I'm gonna demonstrate to you is working nicely if you have a larger uh, banana plug connector. So it, it is 5 or maybe 4 millimeter size and it's not always handy to use a smaller wattage uh, soldering iron to solder this type of connectors because they are more massive and they dissipate the heat and they require more powerful soldering iron for easily soldering the wire there. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the, uh, this type of gas torch. So also the connector shouldn't have any insulation because I'm gonna use the open flame on the connector to heat it up. So, and it will also nicely work on a thicker silicon wire. So in this case, it's 12 AWG. All right, so let's do it. So first we need to remove the insulation from the silicon wire. And for this, do not use the uh, insulation uh, removing tool or whatever it's called, the installation, installation strip tool. Just use your teeth to bite through the silicone insulation and pull it outside of your mouth. So you have to remove approximately two, three millimeters of insulation. I'm gonna do it now. All right, so this is very quick and safe and easy way to remove the insulation. Then you take your connectors, you insert them together because you're gonna put them into this holder or whatever it's called. And otherwise the, we're gonna use them, we're gonna solder the male connector and it would have bent the uh, the levers of the connectors of the connector if we wouldn't have inserted them together. Now I insert the connector, so use make make it uh, fit uh, tightly and it shouldn't move around. So I'm gonna take the soldering wire. So for this you will require approximately uh, six to seven centimeters of the soldering wire. I start the torch, the flame torch. You should start the torch with the low setting. Now I just put the torch to the center of the connector. I'm hitting the connector from all the sides. It will take around 15 seconds to heat up the connector. And again, I'm pointing the torch towards the center, the middle of the connector. And I start to try to put the soldering wire from the top and see if it'll gonna melt. Need a little bit more time. Do not put the flame directly to the soldering wire, otherwise it will gonna uh, fire up because of the flux core which is inside. So just point the flame towards the center of the connector. Right now, as you can see, it starts to melt. So I'm gonna melt the soldering wire as in the bucket into this connector, all right? So 
it starts to evaporate so I need to quickly put the silicon wire I have put the silicon wire now I have to keep the heat for 10 more seconds so the silicon wire copper cores will also heat up and the chemical reaction will happen between the soldering soldering wire and the connector and the silicon wire all right i'm think i think we are done a little bit more five more seconds to be on a safer side so to have a very good quality i off the torch and as you can see that there is a very tight gap between the uh, where the insulation with the silicon wire finishes and the connector which doesn't uh, require any additional uh, heat shrink insulation to be attached to it so now I'm gonna inspect the joint the soldering joint I'm gonna test it so if it's properly soldered you will have a approximately one and a half centimeters on top of the wire become hard it will not be flexible and you need to apply some force to try to break the joint to break the soldering connection so as you can see it's not breaking so it's very good quality it's properly soldered both to the connector and to the silicon wire and now we are done thanks for watching bye bye